Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So starting off with my face, I'm taking the Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer and I'm applying that all over the face. Because it's summer, we don't want to get oily, we don't want to look greasy, we want to make sure that our makeup stays put all day. I'm applying this just to ensure that my foundation just doesn't slide all over the place. Now for foundation, I'm taking the Laura Geller Baked Liquid Radiance Foundation. I forget how much I love this foundation. I have so many that it just kind of sits in the back of my pile and I don't use it. But it's a very lightweight foundation. It gives you the most gorgeous, beautiful, natural glow without being too dramatic. And it is not full coverage if you apply a little bit, which is what I was going for. I definitely didn't want something that was going to be too heavy on the skin because this is more on the natural side for the summer. I definitely wanted a thinner layer. As you can see, some of my imperfections still peek through through the foundation, but that's okay because I am going to go in with concealer and I'm going to go pretty ham on the head. I did notice that I have some freaking Pancho Villa bigotes, so I just cut them off. <laughs> now for my concealer, I'm taking the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in Medium. This has been my favorite these past few months. I really like it. I like the consistency. It's not too thick, but it's not too lightweight either. And I like to mix it with my NARS concealer because the NARS concealer just tends to dry really quickly. So I like to mix them both and then just blend it in with my beauty blender. As you can see, I am going into the parts where I didn't get the coverage that I wanted from the foundation. And then I apply that to my chin, the center of my forehead, and to the, or down the bridge of my nose because I want to balance everything out. And then with that same beauty blender, I'm just blending everything out. You can use whatever you have, a brush, but I just feel very comfortable with the beauty blender, so that's what I like to use. I also take that to my lids because I am going to be applying a little bit of eyeshadow. After that, I'm setting my face with the RCMA No Color Powder. This is a really nice, lightweight powder that is going to set your makeup, but it's not going to bring a lot of brightness underneath, which is okay, again, because we are doing more natural, if you want to say that. And I'm applying that to the sides of my nose because you guys know that I like to contour my nose. It's just a step that I feel I need to do now. Now I'm taking in, or I'm using, this Pure Cosmetics Press Powder. I will have the name list down below. I love this so much. The color is just perfect it's very silky and it's very creamy at the same time and it just covered everything now I'm gonna take frappe by makeup geek and I'm going to be applying that all over the eyes with a fluffy brush I didn't know what I was going for but then I just decided to apply it all over the lid um, because I am going to be applying a second color on the top so just blend it out and it doesn't have to be perfect because it's kind of a messy look I'm going in with a vanilla eyeshadow and this is just going to go underneath our brow bone. This is just to give a little bit of dimension and a little bit of highlight onto the eyebrows. Then I take the NYX Glitter Primer and I'm going to apply this really pretty shade from a Maybelline quad that I had just laying around from a few years ago. Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply mascara. I'm going in with this pencil from ColourPop. It's called Honey Dude and it's a really pretty color just to brighten up the eyes. I'm taking that same frappe color and I'm applying it to the lower lash line just to balance everything. Now I'm going to go in with this Milani bronzer and I haven't used this in a hot minute but I really wanted my skin to look very bronzy, almost like if I just went to the beach and I got a really nice tan. So that's what I went for. I didn't apply any blush. I went and applied that to my jawline and also to the sides of my neck just to bring a little bit more warmth. And I really like how this bronzer applies. Again, I forget how much I love it. And yeah, I was just going out with it as you can see. Now I'm going to go in with this Pure Cosmetics cream highlighters this is called moonlight and it is absolutely beautiful but this is definitely my favorite one because it has bronzy colors and a peach color i'm applying that to the highest points of my cheekbones just to bring a little bit of luminosity i really recommend these if you are a type of person that likes cream based highlighters they're very 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 pigmented and they just look absolutely beautiful on the skin
And then I also applied the Laura Geller Gilded, it's not the Gilded Honey, but I think it's called Ballerina. And it's another highlight, so I just applied that pretty much everywhere. I went crazy with it, just to have a all over glow. I did apply that same hard candy bronzer onto the inner corners of my eyes, just to brighten them up a little bit more. And then for my lips, I used Jeffree Star Cosmetics mannequin and then I topped it off with this lip gloss from Rimmel London. That is it guys. This is my no lashes, no eyeliner summer makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video.